But I think it's time that we as a community start engaging in some hate speech. Yeah. I hate murder. Yeah. And it's appropriate that we're in a church for this gathering because Proverbs 616 says that God hates yeah. the spilling of innocent blood. Yeah. He hates the spilling of innocent blood. And it doesn't get any more innocent than a four-year-old child yeah. in his own home. I don't care what the parents do or what people are going to say anybody does. The four-year-old child did nothing wrong. Yeah. That is the spilling of innocent blood. Yeah, sir. And like the chief said, and we come up here and we say the same old thing and we do the same old stuff. And that's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, think we're going to get a different result. And I, I recognize that I'm in the house of the Lord, but if this doesn't piss the hell out of you, yeah, then nothing's going to. I, I know what it's like to lose my brother. Everybody knows that August 15, 1996. I didn't go to sensitivity training to understand this. I know what this family is going through. I know the new normal in this family. This affects the whole community because no one's immune from it. Because this can happen in a restaurant. This can happen in a park. This can happen on a highway. And then until it touches your life, then it's just a news story that you can turn away from or, throw, or turn the page or do something else. This is reality. This is a new normal. I don't want this to be the new normal in San Antonio, Texas, in Bear County. It's time for you to engage in hate speech. Yes, hate murder, yes. hate violence, yes. but then do something about it. And with all due respect to my colleagues and my friends behind me, this isn't about gun violence. This is a condition of the heart. Yes. This is about violence, and they use the gun. Yes. Because you can't change, if you can't change a man's heart, you'll never change the behavior. It's always about a, a man's heart. Proverbs 23, seven says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Yes. And there's a world, there's a worldview and a culture in these groups that has not changed. And that's why, as the chief said, your children and your children's children follow your example. Your children will follow your example long before they follow your advice. So until we get into the nucleus of the culture in these groups, we're never going to change. We're always going to hang out in the symptom. We'll, do, we'll keep dealing with the symptom. The person responsible for this is facing capital murder charges. I don't take that lightly. So working with law enforcement, we will do what we have to do to deal with the symptom. But if we ever want to change, if we ever want to change the future, if we ever want to get, make sure that this is the new normal, we have to go to the root cause. It's time that we engage in hate speech, hate violence, and hate murder. And I'm asking the community, as the chief did, to, get, to come along, to leave the political correctness away, yes, to get into a house of the Lord and talk about a moral compass that has been thrown away, and we wonder why we're dealing with a jungle mentality. Right? Because everybody's making up their own truth. There is not relative truth. There's just truth. And the truth will set us free, John 8, 31 tells us. And we need to speak that truth to our communities and in, and in public arenas and in our, in our courthouses and in government squares. Because without that, we're going to continue to play this, break, this broken record. And I don't want it anymore. God bless San Antonio. Thank you.